Hi, this is Ram from ramkedem.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the in operator. Basically, the in operator allows us to compare our column against multiple values. In the previous lesson, we learned how to restrict rows based on simple condition. For example, let's type the following query. Select customer ID, last name, first name, city from customers where city equal to New York. Let's it's customer ID. Let's highlight and execute. This query, as you can see, allows us to find all customers who live in New York. Now, say we want to filter our data set to retrieve all customers living in New York or Los Angeles or Phoenix. If we'll try to say where city equals to New York, comma, Los Angeles, Phoenix, let's try to execute. As you can see, we are getting an error. By using the equal operator, we are not able to compare our city column against multiple values. This is where the in operator becomes very handy. Instead of using the equal sign, we can say where city in and then within brackets, New York, Los Angeles and Phoenix. Let's highlight and execute. And this time, as you can see, we are getting the expected results. So the syntax of the in operator is pretty simple. We say where column name in and then within brackets, the values we are trying to compare against. If we want to use the in operator with numeric values, all we need is to specify those numeric values within brackets. For example, select customer ID, last name, monthly discount from customers, where monthly discount in let's say 4 11 and 13 as you can see pretty simple just specify those numeric values within brackets when dealing with strings as we already saw in the previous example just remember that string values should be enclosed within single quotes and that's it this is how we can use the in operator with string values. When dealing with date values, as we learned in the previous lesson, we need to follow two simple rules. The date value should be written in the format of year, month, day, and the date value should be enclosed within single quotes. For example, select customer ID, last name, Join date from customers where join date in and let's specify the following dates. This is how we can compare against date values. Say we want to display all customers that do not live in Los Angeles, New York, or Phoenix, or all customers with monthly discount not equal to. 4, 11, or 13. When we are using the in operator, we can also add the not operator. The not operator allows us to display the opposite results, those results that didn't meet our in criteria. Let me show you how. Here, for example, instead of saying we want to display all customers who live in Los Angeles, New York, or Phoenix, by adding the not operator, we are displaying the opposite results, all customers who do not live in Los Angeles, New York, or Phoenix. Same goes for numeric values. Same goes for date values.
Okay, so in this lesson we learned how to use the in operator and we saw how we can use it for comparing against strings, numbers and date values. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below and if you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, in ramcadem.com you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.